was driving and I came across an elderly man outside mowing his lawn and it looked like he was struggling. So I pulled over and helped him out. And that night I decided I'll start mowing free lawns for the elderly, disabled, single parents and veterans. later I came up with the brand Raising Women's as well to encourage both boys and girls to get out there and make a difference one loan at a time. You're doing something that I can no longer do for myself and it makes it helps with the neighborhood you make you feel good when your house looks nice and you are inspiring so many people out there future generations coming up You've inspired me too because I want to do something more to carry it forward to help other people and this is just this has raised my hope so much and my whole attitude with the, the difficult year that I've had. It's just, it, it's just marvelous and everything looks so beautiful. I can't thank you enough. I came up with this idea of um, mowing drops because most of the people we mow for are elderly and they're shut in and disabled and even our veterans, you know, just stuck in and limited income. Every morning I woke up and I went to the grocery store and I bought groceries and different things they might need. And I went to mow the lawn and after mowing the lawn, I dropped groceries to the door. Yeah, I started that right when the coronavirus really had hit because I because I knew um, lawn care would still be essential. And I know the people, the other people we mow for, they need the items and I found it really meant a lot to them. You too. I came up with the idea of going to all 50 states mowing free lawn for the elderly, disabled, single parents and veterans to make people more aware of the organization and encourage kids to join up on our 50 yard challenge. I encourage you to be good neighbors and get out there and do something good for your community, but most importantly, stay safe. It means a lot because my husband had a stroke and he has Parkinson's and he tries to cut the grass, but the majority of it falls on me. And it's just a lot. And you could never believe how much this has really helped us out. It's a blessing because, you know, I'm, I'm a Vietnam veteran. And a lot of times, you know, get out and walk the yard, it hurts my knees and feet. And I'm fighting that Agent Orange. What you're doing, uh, you keep it up. I mean that.